Welcome to My Week. We're glad that you're with us. I'm Christy McDonald. We are in Cleveland, the site of Great Lakes Week, and it is the center of conversation focused on the biggest challenges facing the Great Lakes and finding solutions. President Obama, Mayor Dave Bing, second hardest job in the U.S., do you think? Well, if it is, he's got something in common with the guy who's got the first hardest job, and that neither one of them does it very well. Oh, so oh, there no. you go, taking shots at the president. Joining me now is Mike Duggan, one of the candidates for mayor of the city of Detroit. Mike, how are you? We now know what rock bottom looks like. This morning, emergency manager Kevin Orr announced the Chapter 9 municipal bankruptcy filing. Governor Snyder says this is a new beginning for the city. I had a chance to speak with him and Kevin Orr a short time after the announcement. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on My Week. Welcome to American Graduate Community Town Hall. The American Graduate Initiative is a national public media commitment to help communities find solutions to the high school dropout crisis. Now, how Detroit is tackling a staggering amount of blight with some unusual help. Detroit's new mayor is focusing on the demolition of the tens of thousands of houses stripped beyond repair. Year. And what kind of speed are we seeing and, and what are the numbers that we're seeing? Christy McDonald, special correspondent for Detroit Public Television, has this report. You're saying that the biggest issue is the economy and where people feel they are right now. Well, I think it's who the economy is working for. Welcome to the gubernatorial town hall. Now let me introduce the candidates for governor, Governor Rick Snyder and Congressman Mark Schauer. Some water treatment facilities are testing for the toxin, but those tests aren't mandatory. Detroit now has 80 brand new, new flyer buses. What's it like when a new bus comes in? Well, the new bus, everybody's excited. We're talking about news and we're talking about politics and we're talking about education. How do you counter the argument then that you are spending that extra money on Detroit and taking away from other districts? And Flint residents who can't drink their tap water are picking up bottled water that has been brought and donated. This is like the second or third time that we've actually came and got water, but it's so needed because I have small kids. God, I don't, these were but not I don't guns. think no, that we were. can have, hang on, we can have this the, the gun debate and just look back at the most recent yeah, mass shooting and say, well, in this on. situation, this wouldn't have happened well, or this wouldn't have happened. Good evening and welcome to Detroit Performance Live. I'm Christy McDonald. We are so glad that you are with us. You know, I think it's going to continue to be, but it's going to be really interesting to see how it morphs. Even though we might change transportation a bit, people are still going to care what kind of car they drive. A DACA recipient who came to the U.S. at the age of one, undocumented. But now that's all in danger. Have people said, Juan, stop talking? Like, you're going to get yourself into trouble, or are they saying, thanks for talking because I don't feel like I can? I love this city. I love that I've worked here as a journalist for 23 years. I love that I'm raising my family here. There's nowhere else I'd rather be, especially now. Hi there, and welcome to One Detroit. I'm Christy McDonald. It's our first show. Guys, we're out on the road and a little something new this time around. We're here with some teacher training. What are some of them saying to you about their readiness for the beginning of the year? And do they feel that they have the tools to be able to succeed with these kids? A subtle sign of change in Island View on Detroit's east side. Beyond the counter, you realize the Commons isn't just a coffee shop. So where did you have to go before to get your laundry done? Hello, Christy. Hello. We are talking a little bit of politics today. Oh and my God. Get, I, I know. What are the main issues that you're thinking about? Me? Yeah. The character of our president. I've been in the Fisher Building, I can't tell you how many times. It just takes your breath away. And it's so funny, you look at everyone who's walking around and they're all looking up. I want to introduce you to Rachel Lutz. She owns the Peacock Room in Yama, so come on in. We just came here to the Fisher Building last year. Coming up, we're taking you to some of our favorite One Detroit places from diners, restaurants, and cafes, from Royal Oak to Detroit to Dearborn. Hi, I'm Christy, thanks so much for having us. Hospitality and restaurant business is not for the faint of heart. No. This is a tough job. You know that, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm here because I want a billion people to learn how to eat better. I love it, thanks for having us. I love it. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> Thank you. We're not alone. We are not alone when it comes to celebrating women's achievements. We are not alone when it comes to advocating for a more diverse workplace that we work in every day. Hey, One Detroit, it's Christy. I'm coming to you from my basement. I'm sure a lot of you are working from home now. Uh, what a difference a week makes. I put out a call on Facebook for women to share their stories, and Lauren Maroney volunteered. She has a super cute six-year-old named Jameson. This is Jameson. Hey, Jameson. Governor Whitmer, it's, uh, it's good to see you. How are you doing? 
Thank you. I'm fine. I'm hanging in. This week before the election, what are you seeing and what should people still do if they have their ballot? My joy in being able to do these shows or we're devoting it to arts and culture in this time of COVID-19 is really being able to to you know, get to know people a little bit better and see how you're doing with everything. Thank you for having us. And that is gonna do it for our One Detroit Virtual Town Hall. That's gonna do it for my week. And that will do it for Great Lakes Now. Thank you so much for the time. Thanks to everyone watching. And for all of us at Detroit Public Television, I'm Christy McDonald. Be safe, take care.